Hello everybody, this is just a quick tutorial covering the setup and operation of the Collective FS Helicopter Collective. This is a full, fully working two axes Heli Collective with Collective and Throttle. It has a turbine start button on the front and two toggle switches on the top you can sign to various things like governors or lights, um, things like that. Um, there are two friction knobs at the back here you can adjust so that you it will hold the weight of the collective. You can adjust those just to the bare minimum to ensure the smoothest operation. So here we are in MSFS in our setup page, control setup page. Of course we're signing throttle axes and the collective axes both should be ticked in reverse and I have nav lights on and off and also a helicopter governor switched to on and off. Not all helicopters have governors but the, the helicopter we're flying today, the Cowensim use 500E, does have a governor switch and that's that's a model in the, um, in the helicopter so I had that assigned. And also the biggest issue many have found starting helicopters in flight simulator is turbine engine starts. So at the moment MSFS has starter 1 and the hold function set to the turbine start button. That allows you to hold the button down for the full start duration without it having to do any funky things. Other engine start options in MSFS they will flick on and off and they'll do funky things but this is the correct one. So set starter 1 hold to that front button. Button 5 was turbine start and that should set you up those buttons there that I've just shown you and axes that should set you up to ready to go. So um, without anything further to discuss let's jump on into the heli and I'll show you a quick start up and flight and that should get you going. Okay here is our Hoos 500 we are at Milford Sound Airport in the South Island New Zealand so we will go along and hop right in and start this thing up. So the 2 axis Collective will model most of the things on modern helicopters. The thing that it doesn't have on some helicopters is this little minimum throttle end stop that pops out when you increase the throttle to engage the fuel on. You can see that clicks down. There is no assignable switch in MSFS to that um, currently. So you have to do that manually, but you only have to do it when you're shutting the helicopter down. So at the moment, it won't let me cut off fuel. This is minimum throttle. There's still idle fuel going to the engine. If you want to cut the motor off, you have to flick that end stop up and then close the throttle off. That will allow you to fully cut fuel to the motor. So that's the only thing that's not modeled in Microsoft Flight Simulator. But everything else is the throttle, collective, and turbine start button is all working. Okay, so let's get this sucker started up. Turbine ignition switch is on, fuel valve is in, open, have a battery on. We can hear the engine starting, but that's just because we've been fiddling with the switches. That actually won't start, that's just a bug in the aircraft. We can Stop the rotor completely. Give out collision position lights. And we go ahead. This motor needs five seconds of fuel priming. Three, two, one. And we can turbine start holding the start button down. When N1 gets to about 10 or 11 percent, you can introduce fuel. Introduce fuel, the indent clicked out, set back to minimum throttle, and that's a good start. Okay, 
go ahead and turn our generator on. Stabilized, temps are stabilized, we're going to increase the full throttle. I'm going to put my gather on. Gather this on, it should stabilize to 100% RPM. Everything else is green, ready, let's go for a takeoff. All clear. Slowly introducing collective, slight left rudder. Get on down the taxiway. You really feel the ground effect in the sun. So you go in and out of it find yourself chasing it if you're not careful. So I'm just going to do a quick circuit and come down and land and show you the shutdown. Valley, there are some really cool low level flying you can do up in the gorges and the rivers. Heaps to explore. We're going to start our ascent again. They bleed off the speed there, pulling the stick back, low levels of collective, nearing ground effect, level off, and apply a bit more pitch. Okay, that was a quick flight. Could roll the throttle off, it's a minimum throttle. Turn the governor off. Wait for the uh, idle RPM to be reached, things to stabilise. While you're doing that, you can find about 10% on. You'll see the collective in the sim start to move. That's where you can click ident. Click that open and roll the throttle off. And that cuts all the fuel of the motor. There you can turn the fuel off, pull fuel off, ignition off. That's basic, basic setup and running of the collective FS. Hope you enjoy.